Hi everyone, this is Tony from iForm Builder, and I'd like to show you a quick example on how to calculate a time difference. And what we need for this form is two time elements as well as a select element that's going to either show or hide our difference. And the reason I've added in this select element is um, because the dynamic value is actually stored in the time elements so that the, the difference kind of shows up prematurely and um, the select element is put in place to, to control when that difference shows up. So these are actually very simple uh, time elements and they have no dynamic or conditional values. They've been appropriately named time1 and time2. If we look at the data column names, this uh, select element has a data column name of show time difference and actually the only logic that's going on is in this time difference in minutes. So if we look at the smart control, there is a dynamic value, which is the difference of those two time elements divided by 60,000 um, to convert from milliseconds down to minutes. You can um, you know, increase or decrease that, um, the number you divide by to either output in you know, hours, minutes, seconds, uh, whatever value that you like. And then the conditional value is show time difference is equal to zero. So there's an option list tied to this of yes and no. So basically we're saying if the time difference, show time difference is selected to yes, then we want to show it. I'll show you what it looks like on the form side. So if we select the time, we'll just say it's now, so it's 917, and then if we do 920 and select, you'll see that our difference is not showing up yet. If I say no, the difference won't appear until I say yes. So the time difference in minutes is three. If I were to change this to 25, you'll see that it um, reacts right away. So you can change this basically as many times as you want. And like I said, you can change the, the division to um, convert into any unit that you like. Thanks for watching.